He's on, I'm gonna back off just a little bit. Let him eat, let him eat. Set the hook. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mm -mm, come out, come out. There we go. Oh, no, come on out. Gotta get him out open. Oh my goodness, what a sheep. That is a giant, y'all. What's going on, y'all? We got the kayaks rigged up right here. We're about to get ready to head back out to Foggy. It has been a foggy winter, y'all. It's just crazy. But we're going to head out there. Got a pretty good episode planned. We got some fiddler crabs and some earthworms. We're going to get out here and see which of those are better at catching sheep. So y'all stay tuned. Let's get after it. All right, we're rolling up on our bridge right here. Y'all have seen me catch a bunch of sheep's head off of this bridge. It's a really, really good spot down here on the coast. But we have a healthy bucket of fiddler crabs right here. Got three dozen crabs in there. And then we also have us a $3.50 can of Nightcrawler worms. If y'all have watched the channel, y'all have seen I have caught a bunch of sheep's head using worms, but today, we're gonna figure out which works better for sheep's head, the worms or the crabs. And then at the end of it all, we're gonna kind of give our final thoughts, conclusion, whatnot. But anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping. We're gonna rig up, see if we can get some fish. All right, so we're gonna start off with the fiddler crabs right here. I'm gonna talk about my rig in just a second, uh, but we're gonna put an hour on the clock. We're gonna use this guy for an hour. And then after that hour, we're gonna swap over to the worms and uh, kind of see what the deal is current and wind is moving pretty good this morning so that's going to affect the bike just a little bit oh he's on he's on he's on there we go there we go come here that's a good one that's a good fish that's a good fish y'all that's a big one first sheep's head on and it is a good one come here oh no Oh, the heartbreak. Oh my goodness. I lost him. What do you mean what happened? <laughs> he ain't on my line no more. Let's drop back in there and see if we can get that guy. We're on. We got one on. Oh. Another one got my bait. Oh, we got one on. We got one on. There we go. Oh, that's a. I, I think that's a good one. Come here. Yeah, that's a good fish. All right. We had to get behind this wall right here to get out of the wind. And we're just going to boat flip that big girl. Yeah, that's a good sheep head right there. All right. First fish, y'all. Y'all look at that fish right there. First sheep's head on the crab. Had to do a little bit of adjustment. I might add a little bit of time, maybe do an hour and a half each lure because I had to do a lot of playing around to try to figure out the, the current, the wind and all that. I think we're just gonna kind of stick along this wall right here, see if we can pick up some more. But yeah, that guy's kind of got a weird lump on his head. It's kind of, I don't think I've seen one have like a little dip right there pretty cool little fish full belly for sure all right we'll see a nice little 17 18 incher let's get back in here see if we can get another one on the crab drop right there beside this piling you definitely see where a ton of sheep's head have been in there eating got a lot of current that moves through here this area should be stacked with fish oh he's on he's got it Oh, he let go. Oh, I took my bait. Oh, he's on already. There he is. We got that one hooked. That one doesn't feel. Oh, my goodness. Lost another one. Man, we are not doing too good today. He's on. He's on. I'm going to back off just a little bit. Let him eat. Let him eat. Set the hook. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mm -mm, come out. Come out. There we go. Oh, no. Come on out. Got to get him out the open. Oh, my goodness. What a sheep. 
That is a giant, y'all. Oh my God. Uh, come on. It's a dog on 23 incher. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. This is a good one, y'all. Get him up. Look at that beautiful fish. I believe we will be netting this guy. Got him wrapped up in my line right now. Boom! Let's go! Oh my goodness, that's a doggone nine pounder. Oh, what a stud. Well, we might have lost a lot of fish, had a lot of bites, but no doubt about it, this is a giant. The crab caught a giant. Y'all, look at that sheep's head right there. Oh my goodness. What a big sheep's head. All right, well, we're gonna pop this girl on a measuring board. I am very curious to see what she will go. 22 and a quarter, almost 22. Yep, she touches 22 and a half. <laughs> what a stud. Man, just such a beautiful fish catching these guys. Oh, this stuff never gets old. Such a beautiful, awesome fish. We are gonna let this girl go. Oh, I think I deserve that. I get a lot of questions from people asking if I eat these fish. I do eat sheep's head. I, I think sheep's head tastes great. It's probably one of the best tasting fish that we have in shore. But with that being said, I also enjoy releasing them, especially these big fish, releasing them. Those are the breeders, you know, and I feel like, you know, if, if I want to eat some fish that night, I'll go out, I'll keep some fish, but for the most part, I do like to release these fish and um, try to do my part in the whole conservation aspect and making sure that my daughter, my son get to come out here and their generations didn't come out here and catch these fish as well. So nothing wrong with keeping your fish. Um, I just prefer to release most of them. But yeah, we're gonna drop back in here, see if we can pick up some more. Oh, he grabbed it again. He's on. Oh, there we go. He's pulling pretty good. I don't think he, yeah, still a good sheep's head. Solid 15 inch or so, 14, 15 inch. Smallest sheep's head, but this is sheep's head number three. Look at that guy. Sadly enough, given this area, this might be the smallest sheep's head that we end up catching today. Probably about 14 inches or so. Third one on the crab. We got about 20 minutes left. See if we can pick up a couple more of these beautiful sheep's head before we switch over to the worms. About to get ready and drop back down, try to pick up another fish, but I wanna show you all the rig that I'm using real quick. So I got 20 pound test and I'm running four number four split shot weights because the current is pretty bad right here. But I like using split shot rig because I can take the weight on and off as I need. Uh, and then I got that on a number one octopus hook. I just hooked those crabs right through the side, kind of have that hook coming out right there. But that's the setup that I like to use for sheep's head. It is my favorite rig. Y'all comment below, what rig do y'all use to catch these sheep's head? I'd love to hear all of y'all's feedback in the different rigs and setups that y'all like to use. Oh, we're on, we're on. Oh, come back. I was trying to get myself ready. I was way out of position. Took my bait. Oh, we're on. Oh, 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 oh. Come, oh my goodness, that was a giant. That was a big fish. All right, our time is up on the crabs. Real quick summary on the crabs. I caught three sheep's head, the biggest one being 22 and a quarter, so that was a stud. I lost about six or seven of them though, 
had two of them up close to the boat missed those that was probably my fault more so than the bait uh but we're gonna be swapping over to the worms now dropping those down and seeing if we can get some sheep's head on the worms but check it out if y'all like this type of content get this video to 800 likes and i will come out here and do videos just like this where i compare different baits uh yeah just let me know if you like this content get the video to 800 likes we'll do more of it so these are the worms we're using right here they're night crawlers there's a lot of different types of worms you can get but the night crawlers are the bigger species of worms which is what i like and we're just going to be taking that worm threading them down on the hook just like that let's drop them on a pile and see what happens all right first drop going down with a worm nope we're on come on back for it We're on. We're on. There we go. Get me out of the structure. We're in the structure. Oh no. No. We're in there deep. Push them. Pull them through. Pull them through. We got them through. There we go. There we go. First drop with the worm. And we got a sheep's head. Boom. I want to say it's first drop. I, I did bounce around pilings, but first worm. I didn't lose a worm. I caught a sheep's head and we're in like the first five minutes of dropping it and we already have our first fish. Now, it might not be a 22 incher, but that is still a respectable sheep's head right there. Man, look at him. Awesome little catch. And on the first worm. Appreciate it, girl. We'll see you later. Well, I've been telling y'all, and I don't know, I've heard some people trying them. I've, I've heard of some people having some success with them, but worms just flat out catch sheep's head. We're just trying to find out, do they catch as many, if not more, than fiddler crabs? And will they catch as big a sheep's head? That's fiddler crabs. That's kind of the deal. That's what we're trying to figure out today. And I would say, as of right now, the worms might win this thing. We're gonna leave the channel area alone. We have hooked a ton of sheep's head right there. We're gonna get back on this bridge. It seems like the wind has calmed down just a little bit. So we're just gonna work these pylons going down this way and uh, continue to try to find some with the worms. Oh, we're on, we're on. Oh, he's got us. Come here. Are we snagged again? We definitely had a bite, but he got us hemmed up. All right, we've made a bridge swap. We were on that bridge over here. Went ahead and came over here. So we're gonna add 15 minutes back on the clock for that swap. We've landed a sheep's head, landing him pretty quickly. The wind's picked up. And it has just gotten real tough for it right now. All right, well, we are back at the ramp now. I guess that means the worm only got one sheep's head. We even tried a little bit longer outside of our window. We hit both of the bridges, that bridge, that bridge, hit some areas, but conditions got really really bad on us current was crazy wind and waves were all over the place uh so i guess today's winter is going to be the crab but i have had some amazing days with the worms i've come out here and only taken worms and i've caught a ton of sheep's head there's a lot of factors and variables in this tide timing location all of these things come into play it's really hard to do these challenging comparisons because there are so many variables it's more or less just to come out here and kind of do the best i can to compare those two things the worms do absolutely catch sheep's head um this is what i'll say about it okay i don't think there's a better bait out there for sheep's head 
than fiddler crabs. And I don't think anybody would dispute that. Um, there's a, a close second between barnacles and oysters and shrimp. Like all of those things work really, really well for sheep's head. The thing about it is, is that nobody ever really considered worms to even be a sheep's head bait. Those sheep's head are down around those pylons and if it looks like food and they're in feeding mode, they're gonna at least give it a taste and once they taste them worms, they're gonna eat them. Um, with that being said, the worms are cheaper than crabs and the hookup ratio on worms is better than crabs. Uh, crabs are also extremely hard to find this time of year. You know, as soon as some of the bait shops get a couple, they're sold out. And then with all the cold fronts and everything we got going on, a lot of bait shops can't even get them. So worms are always available. Um, if you can't find sheep's head bait or money as a factor, worms are one of your best bets. But if you can get the crabs and you don't mind it, I would definitely say use crabs to catch sheep's head. But hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. We've got a ton of good content planned for y'all, and I cannot wait to get that out to you. It's going to be an amazing 2023, and I want all of y'all along for the ride. We got some really, really good stuff happening. Y'all stay tuned, and we'll see y'all in the next episode.